Josh, hello! You were here bright and early. I don't know if you're getting an ad right now, or if you're just, uh, just sitting here waiting, but hello! How are you doing? Hope things are going well. You are here bright and early, my heavens. All right, how are we looking and sounding? Meehan, hello, how are you doing? Whew, okay. I think things are working. Great. Glad to hear it, Josh. And Josh, I saw your message. I'm glad you had a good time. Um, and Mayhem, that's wonderful to hear. Alright, let me send the thing. Oop, shaboop. Josh, thank you so much for the nickel. I appreciate it very, very much. Mystic, hello! How are you doing this evening? Y'all, I hope you're excited. I'm nervous. <laughs> Alice, hello! I'm so glad you resubscribed so we have all the Venonats. And Nick, I'm so glad you're here. Okay. Whew. Nick, I think this series would have been three or four parts longer if it weren't for you. Steph, hello. Uh, Meehan, I think... So, what I did between streams... Monthcada, hello. And that's true. Um, so, here's what I've done. I have... Josh, thank you for the host. Sorry, so much distraction. Monks, hello! Um, I have gone through and done the first five battles of a, uh, of a new boss rush. Um, because we got to about battle seven last time. So I've done Moldorak, Girahim 1 and 2, um, Skaldera, and Imprisoned 1. Alice, thank you for the host. Um... So we're not missing any of the, the sort of big, ugly ones. Tantalus, Kalakdos, Imprisoned 2. Because those are the ones I'm expecting to finish out with. And Monfakata, I did. I actually did. I spent a couple hours today <laughs> getting a bunch of collectibles. But it means that, like, I'll show you after we finish the boss rush. It means everything is upgraded. Everything. Uh, Alice, I do when I can hear them. Since we're playing a, a Wii U game, I really hope we don't get in Prison 3. If we get in Prison 3, I'm done. I only have to get through 8. That's what I've been told. Captain Spark, good to know. I will look forward to it. I'm seriously nervous, though. Like... <laughs> oh, my heavens. No, I, I did a lot between streams. For the first time, like, ever. <laughs> I also went and got, like, all the goddess cubes that I had left out and about, and so we have a bunch of treasure chests to collect. Hmm. Mystic, I'm sorry that you're still dealing with your feelings from that, but... You know what? Tonight, tonight is just gonna be fun, and, you know, hopefully you can relax. I'm gonna be super nervous. <laughs> um... But I think it's about time that we can start. I mean, sort of, Monfukata, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Y'all. 
Whew. I'm ready. And I, I have been practicing these boss fights in the boss rush. So hopefully, hopefully I won't screw up in uh, fight seven and miss out on getting my shield. I would really like to not. Let us continue. Alright. Alright, 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 let's go. Let's do it. Let's... Come on. And we're getting right into it, okay. It's not making it easy on me at all. Love that. Okay. Around the outside. I just need to give it a limp. Kiku, hello! How are you doing this evening? Kiku, you're jumping in in the middle of a boss rush. But welcome! So here's my secret hope. Um, my hope is that the final boss will be more of a Gearheem than it will be an Imprisoned, you know? Because these are just my absolute worst, like, least favorite style of fight in the entire series, I think. Two Skyward, Two Sword. Yes, Mihan. Exactly. That's what they have to call the sequel. If they don't, I will be severely disappointed. Alright, let's go up and down. Because that's quick. Alright. Just, you know, just slide. Please, nobody tell me. Ah, so Kiku, you're, you're blind with me too. Alright, so I learned my lesson from last time. Instead of uh, going towards the imprisoned here, um, guns blazing using Groose right away, I am absolutely just going to wait until he starts climbing again. Or it. I guess the imprisoned is gender neutral. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Just whenever it decides that it wants to be rude. Sounds about like my first experience with it, Kiku, so you're in You're in good company. You know what, just just start climbing, okay? I'm just gonna wait. Cause I'm not gonna get the front of its feet before that. This single boss is the one that has I've died to the most. Alright, Gruce. Help me out, friend. Bruce is such a good guy. No, no, no. Don't you dare start. Yeah, that hit was uh, required. You know, I'll just wait. Where did Link run to? Where, where is Link? Where am I? Oh my good lord. No, no, no. Huh. 
Uh, Mavocado. Link's got all sorts of tricks, and I've gotten better at them. No, thank you. That's quite enough movement from you. That's possible, Captain Spark. Oh my gosh! Uh, Lita, thank you so much for the, the raid again! Welcome everyone to the finale of Skyward Sword. I appreciate y'all coming so very much. Lita, thank you so much for the... <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that was so close. Welcome everyone. We are right now just in the middle of a boss rush before we go to the final boss, so you've jumped in at a tense time. But I'm glad to see y'all here. Folks, I know it's, uh, you know, rather early on, but obviously if any of you who were watching uh, before the raid have not checked out Lita yet, you absolutely should. She is fantastic. Absolutely worth a follow and a subscription and all the things that you can do on Twitch. But yeah. I hope y'all are... I hope y'all will stick around because we've got some exciting or tense or just gonna freak me out completely uh, stuff planned. Alright. Got a nice stun. Alright, I'm thinking... Where am I? Where am I? Keeps knocking me off. Okay. Uh, back this way. Okay. Now then, I can take a breath. So, um, we have two more fights left in the boss rush um, before we are able to move on. I'm trying to get right now the best shield before... Meehan, thank you. Um, before we go to the final boss sequence. This is a blind playthrough, so I have no clue what I'm getting into with the final boss. I've never fought it before. If the next one is in Prison 3, I, I might actually cry, Nick. And Lita, thank you so very much for the raid again. It means the absolute world to me. And welcome to everyone who's new. I'm sorry, I, I probably missed a bunch of names, but, uh, you know, uh, Drake Soul and Kunal Edge and Drumadude and anyone else who's coming with the raid, I appreciate it very, very much. All right. Boss 7. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, so we've got Tantalus, which means 8 will either be... Eight could be a lot of things, I guess. Eight could be Imprisoned 3 or Kaloctos. I'm hoping for Kaloctos. It's been a while since we've seen Kaloctos. And you know what? I know I'm low on arrows. Whoops. Up. 
Uh, Mihan, I think if that happened, I would quit playing this game forever. Oh no, Kiku, I'm with you. It, it looks really silly. Oh dear. No worries. Lita, please. Go get yourself some food. How did that not... Okay. Ah, just a little early on it. A little too high. Gotcha. I'm definitely off to a better start than I was the first time that we did this in Boss Rush. I thought Tantalus was a was a girl. Uh oh. Whew, all right. Phase two. Also true, monks. Absolutely true. We're not here to limit. Alright. I swear the best way to do this is just swing wildly. those. Thank you. Uh-oh. Yeah, you see, if you get hit by one of them, it's they start piling up. It's a, it's a traffic jam. Is that enough? Monks does raise a good point. In E-rated Ocarina of Time, granted it's E for the 90s, the Great Fairies were a choice. Do you mean like the, the places where the bosses are found, Captain Spark? Like the, the arenas? Yeah, if any of these bosses learned to cover their eyes, I would be done. Alright, we gotta continue. Alright, 
right, what's it gonna be? Luck of the draw. Kaloktos. That's honestly about as nice as it could have been, I think. Now, I... Oh, gosh. Now, it's... it's it would be easier if I remembered how to fight Kaloktos. I haven't re-fought Kaloktos at all. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still there. Uh. No, this isn't the, the sword phase yet. Because now... Now it'll open up its arms. And I can hit its jewel. Hold on. Alright, phase two. Uh, Vikingia! Thank you so much for the host! I appreciate it very much. Welcome on in. Things are going all right. We're doing a boss rush right now in advance of going towards the final boss, trying to get the absolutely sturdy shield. So, things are going. Well, that could have been done better. How did I not... Uh-oh. Ran the wrong way on that one. Darn it, it is recovering fast. There we go. There's one. And two. Put away. Please, Vikinga, what, uh, A, am I saying that right? And B, what brings you my way? Welcome on in. Now, I also don't remember Kalakdos 2 at all, but that's okay. I'm gonna get those hearts, though. Ah, that's the thing. All right, Link. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> A little close for comfort. Oh my gosh, no worries. How did your stream go then? I, I want that heart. Oh, right. This is a thing. Oh my gosh, that backflip was so well timed. All right, give me a sword. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is suboptimal, to say the least. Pick it up, pick it up. Swing. Oh my gosh. Well, congratulations. <laughs> This is our finale, so <laughs> I hope I'm not spoiling you on anything. I'll be fine. No need to rip. <laughs> Got plenty of hearts for Kaloktos. Darn it. Trying not to get hit by that. Yeah, this is completely blind for me. I mean, obviously not this bit specifically, because... Put away your whip. Um, because we're just doing boss rush right now. 
Okay, there are a lot of these, and I don't like that. Oh. It's a little, uh, a little premature on that one. Why is it not hitting? Oh, huh. and hello. And Vikinga, thank you so much for the follow. What has been my favorite moment? Oh, it's hard to pick one. Um, I'm gonna do some sort of collected thoughts on the playthrough after we beat the final boss. Um, so I will I will think about that and hopefully get back to you with an answer then. Oh. I'm so glad that that wasn't in Prison 3. I can't even hold that much money. Quit, please. Captain Spark, that's a solid one. I think my favorite... I have, like, two favorite, like, on-stream moments. Um, both of which were during, like, <laughs> very serious cutscenes. Yeah! Woohoo, indeed! Okay. Huh. <sighs> Well, I forgot it. that's one of the ones I was thinking of. And yeah. Although I did actually go to the trouble... Rimage, hello. Um, of upgrading all of my... Sh like, this is the, you know, the magic shield, and I upgraded it to... Um, here, let me finally show y'all. So I, up I fully upgraded the sacred bow, uh, the beetle, um, my bug net, I got more bombs, like... Everything that I could possibly do to get myself better outfitted for the final boss, not knowing at all, you know, how to fight it, I've done it. Alright, A first, gonna save. Whew. And then B, let's fly. Oh my gosh, Captain Spark! There was a there was a hot second there where I thought that Link was just not going to open his parachute. <laughs> yeah. All right. So aside from getting our shield from the, the 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 item storage, there are a couple more things that I want to do before we actually go and fight the final boss. It'll be quick. Oh dear. Well, Mystic, if you need to if you need to pop out, by all means. Take all the time you need for yourself. Um but so yeah, let's pick up that shield first and foremost. Wait, explain? I I know next to nothing about Fortnite in hand, so please expand upon your statement. Oh my gosh, Mystic, oh no. I'm so sorry.
Yeah, no, sorry. I know it's a little unprofessional to sort of... Oh, no worries. I mean, you're just getting out from a stream, so please, by all means. But thank you so much for popping in. Thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it. Yeah, but seriously, though, Mystic. That's... I, I don't even hardly know what to say. I'm sorry. Nice, all right. Um, like, look. If you need anyone to talk to, you know, you can feel free to, like... I mean, I'm not, like... I don't know how much help I can be, but you can feel free to message me. Um, like, just seriously. Yeah, exactly what Kiku's saying. Like, please. Don't worry about it at all. I just, that really... <laughs> That's a lot. And by all means, if you need to take any time for yourself, take that time. Sorry that this is going to be a little bit of a tonal shift, but, um, so yeah, we have one of the, um, one of the treasures to pick up in here from the goddess cubes. Oh, whatever I can do. Um, and we should have... About eight more to pick up. So if you look on my map, I have four here in Skyloft that I need to grab. Um, most of which I know how to get to them. Um, the toughest one being actually, uh, like, that, that one there. That one's a pain. Because you have to get, you have to, you have to jump, like, dead for it. Thankfully, Link will do it. He jumps way further off that platform than anything else. What I'm hoping for in all of this... Can I just... Can I... I can probably just jump. I, I did a little bit of practicing for these, because I wanted to do it quickly, uh, Rimage. Rimage. Do you want me to s I I always run your name together a bit, Rimage, but would you rather he said Rimage? Because I know that's how you formally pronounce it. Man, a pogo stick would be so fun! Yes! I mean, I think most video games would be improved by a pogo stick. Can you imagine the amount of air that uh, Mario would get with a pogo stick? Yes, Hannah. This is now one of the features that I want. Coffee, hello! How are you doing this evening? You've jumped in at a wonderful time. We're just collecting the final goddess treasures before headed to the final boss. And is it amazing, Nick? I mean, come on, how could it not be? There we go, one piece of heart. I just need three. Uh, is it... like that one. That's quite an adjective, Coffee. But seems to be a good one.
I love that a pogo stick is a taunt. That, I think, is hilarious. Alright, so the last one on Skylift should be that one there. Which we just have to swim to. And then there will be four more that are out in the, the sky world that I need to pick up. And I think that's all the goddess cubes, because I'm pretty sure I exhausted the signal in all three of the main areas. I had actually done way better in uh, in Elden and Laneru than I did in in the forest. In Faron Woods. There we go, there's two. What should I buy, Hannah? I don't think I actually need anything. Because I've got, you know, I've got the fully upgraded bomb bag, seed satchel, quiver. I've got the best shield. I've got four bottles full of fairies. Um, granted, I'll never use the shield. I never think of it. Um, but I have it. <laughs> I mean, I do have a lot of cash right now. But I, I quite literally cannot think of anything to spend it on. You jump off a skyscraper with a pogo stick? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Would fully shatter your pelvis in real life, but sounds amazing. Yeah! Nick, everything is upgraded. I wish, I wish I could use these rupees for real things. Buy something useless. Fair. Um, Alright, so first a fun fun, then pumpkin, then that one. Am I gonna 100% the game? Um, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Today's the end. Um, I will have done a lot, um, but... For me to sort of blindly figure out where the last, like, four heart containers worth of heart pieces are, doesn't sound fun. <laughs> and I kind of liked that, that there are, like, things like Fun Fun Island over here. I kind of like that I just completely skipped it. If for nothing else than the comedy of just ignoring this sad clown's plight. Oh my gosh. Uh, Franalistica? Am I saying that right? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. Buy a red ruby for 100 rupees. No, I'm sorry, Coffee. It's happening. Oh, the heart medals give you heart containers? Well, wait, I have one of those, don't I? So wait, do I have to carry it around to get the bonus, or is it just like, you crack it open and you get its... Please explain that to me, Nick. Because this is something I'm interested in. Oh. Oh, well, my pouch is full of things that I actually want, so... I mean, I guess... I guess I could get rid of the the upgraded seed satchel because with the beetle and the uh, and the, my bow and arrow, I doubt that we'll need it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, if I could just crack it open and get the extra heart contain, that would be lovely. I had no idea that so many of you self-identified as sad clowns. But you know what? All right. Okay. Is this a... Is this just a battle cry now? Like, what's happening? <laughs> um...
I also don't think I ever finished pumpkin errands. Nah, we're not playing Kid Icarus, Josh. I'm good. <laughs> Ooh, there it is. Yeah, Mihan, I'm very not down with that. Spagoon, it's okay. Thank you so much for stopping in, though. Nah, you're absolutely fine. Thank you so much for, for coming to the finale, though. Okay, so it's the one on the right. Yeah, I had a feeling that this island's quest might take me a little while, so... I think I've made the right choice. It's a fantastic chicken that we ride. I know it has a real name. They're called... Loftwings? Loftwings. Took me a second. Pagliacci is one of those names that, like... I hate the spelling, but I love the way that it's said. Oh no, Captain Spark. <laughs> I, what was, I think there was an, uh, I think if you, like, press your tongue to the roof of your mouth, um, it will help alleviate brain freeze. Uh, like, pressing it against your hard palate. I could just be wrong, though. This is, okay, so it's in there. How do I get in there? Something I can... Can I claw? How am I... What? How exactly am I to do this? So that's not a jump I can make. If I had a Loftwing, what would I name it? I have to come at night? Bacha, hello. Coffee, take all the time you need. Okay, well, I'll come at night, shoot. Well, first I'll get the other one that's, like, out in the world. Hmm. I mean, really what you're asking me is if I had a giant pet bird, what would I name it? Maybe Rochester. Or Bismarck. Petunia? Or maybe Claude. Very original. Love it, Spagoot. Love it. Oh, I guess I could just fly in, like what Josh said. Sorry, I'm going to try that once. I definitely could do that. Just cheese the whole system. Hannah, we absolutely might have. Though that was like a month and a half ago. <laughs> Phineas? Oh, I love that. It very much fits. No, I can definitely get a good curve on the dive and just splat on in there. Easy peasy. Persephone? That's not bad. Huh. 
Right. Now let's go get the last one. <laughs> Herbert the Berber. That's very cute. Where's the Tempest? And Manfred's pretty good. You know what's kind of hitting me? A Tempest is like a big storm. Um, after this, this is like the last time we'll be out flying. Amelia. That's wonderful. We had Amelia in our village in Animal Crossing. Uh, Hannah, I think that would be a good branding move for them. No, never. <laughs> never did it, Vacha. Just completely ignored my debts. I wish I could just pay him, because I've got a lot of money now. That honestly sounds very fun. Okay, so it's like this island, or no, no, no. No, I'm going, it is this one in the back here. I mean, y'all should know this by now. This has not been a playthrough about following through on our responsibilities. Zelda got taken by Girahim, and I've gone on like an eight hour gallivant around this entire world just trying to find ways to further delay the inevitable trip that I have to make there. Okay. Ah, uh, well, we'll do it from the bottom. You know what? Because I know it's not going to get featured later, I'm going to use the slingshot for these fellas. There's one more, right? I mean, Captain Spark, that is a good move. Yeah. No, we can absolutely say rest in peace for that guy. And Nick, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, Steph, that is too true. Oh, darn. Fiddlesticks. We are one heart piece short of getting 16... Ooh, hello. I see that. Of getting 16 heart containers, naturally. S spider dur 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 Not allowed. Not allowed, Hannah. No worries. Take your time. Okay. But yeah, because I think we have two... Yeah, we have two heart pieces right now, and I know where a third is. Yeah, no. You better share. Spider to the fourth... That is just... That's too many... That's, that's an exponential amount of spiders. It's not okay. Seriously, though. Do tell me what you're bringing as a snack, because I'm desperately curious. Alright. Josh, how could you? Um...
So yeah, I think I am gonna go to the item check and switch out my seed satchel, even though I spent the time to upgrade it, uh, for... A Mystic, that sounds wonderful. Y'all, everyone can get yourself some snacks. Now is the perfect time. Now I'm just going to, like, the bazaar to switch out my inventory. After this, it's going to be all business till the end. <laughs> Mavkata, if that were, like, if that were an actual thing, I would just leave the planet. Okay? Like, I don't need any of that business in my life. I don't need that negativity. The one time, that's, watch it, the clip you just posted is the one time I've only ever been excited for a spider. And even then, I think there was some fear in that reaction. Ooh. Sounds lovely, Mystic. Alright, so I do have one of the life medals, so I'll switch that for my seed satchel. Okay. I think we're good. No, never, Mom forgot. I did not know that that was a thing. I guess I should have predicted this, given that it's Zelda. What was the mistake, Captain Spark? And the strawberry soda also sounds wonderful. In the lavatory, Kiku. In the lavatory. Should be like one more heart. Oh, I definitely catch the throwback. It's also a throwback to, I think, Oracle of Ages? <laughs> there are clearly so many quests that I never even touched. Yeah. There was Kiku, it's in uh, the Stockpot Inn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a lot, but... I mean, hey, it sounds like you're living your best life, Captain Spark. It, you may say it's a mistake, but... <laughs> I can't do that anymore. I used to be able to eat a whole pizza, and now... <laughs> uh, that's not gonna happen. I could get, like, three slices in and be like, nope. So I'm still going to go and pick up the last piece of heart that I found, because I know where it is. Even though it won't get us an additional heart container, just as a point of personal pride. Unless there's like one heart piece... well no, it's... we're almost 8 o'clock, so I really need to get going on the final boss. Okay, I set a beacon. Yeah, there it is. I mean, the one in the past comes forward, Monfakata. And Kiku, it could possibly be. In fact, I'm gonna write this into my character biography notes. Uh, Captain Spark, potentially Kiku Loon's brother. Yeah, exactly what Nick said. Down this way, right? Yes. I mean, it would be cool if we got, like, a, a past, present, future Zelda game, because we always get past and present Zeldas. But, if, you know, if we had all three layers, that would be something. Okay. I'm just a little bit low on arrows, so I'm gonna get some extra. Alright. 
Excellent. Because I have a feeling arrows will be useful. Whew. Uh, no, A Link to the Past... <laughs> a Link to the Past is actually like Light World, Dark World. I've never interpreted the Dark World as the future, just sort of a parallel world. Oh no. Captain Spark, uh, you know, just just Godspeed in whatever your endeavor may be. If you if you gotta move, then you know. Take as much time as your stomach will will need for the for the for the mobility. <laughs> really? Why would the shield be important? I've never needed it before. Rimage! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the subscription! And caramel sounds like a wonderful treat. Okay. Are y'all... I really, I should be asking this to myself, am I ready? Uh, ready as I'll ever be, I suppose. Got all my junk. Whew. I've not trained at the dojo, no, Meehan. Okay. I hope I don't die that many times. <laughs> Oh, I was about to say, because I saw Impa's head, I was like, if she's just standing there, but no, if she looks hurt, I'll be sympathetic. <laughs> Ugh, Link, it's Girahim. He appeared out of thin air and got the drop on me. Don't worry about me. You must chase after him. Oh, please, no, Malvagata. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Well, I'll I'll figure it out. You ran through the great doors at the front of the temple. You may yet catch him before it's too late. Hurry. Okay, well, let's save again. Can I wait? Hold on. Should I not I saved on the other side of this gate. I should probably just go in. I don't want to save again while I'm in here. Okay. Oh! Well, okay, some gates. They don't hurt, which is nice. Do I just have to run? What is he... <laughs> Is he dancing? Is he just dancing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> you know, Link, you could be starting to run. Hear me, my hordes. The spell is nearly complete. The Demon King returns. Until then, you will keep that whelp from interfering with my ritual. I don't care if the whole lot of you get lodged on the end of his blade. You will buy me the time I need. Do not fear him. Fear my wrath if you fail me. I mean, those were some moves. Um... Oh my. Why do I even need to fight them? Can I just run past them? Seems like I can just run past them. Why fight? Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna pick that up. 
Thank you. <sighs> okay, so it's just gonna make me fight every now and again. I see. Fine. What is... I see. I don't want to deal with all these ones with bombs. That, that doesn't seem like fun. Inspire the moblins to... Oh gosh, actual moblins. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh my good heavens. You know what? Okay, let's not be right there. Okay. That was... Huh. So we've got to fight some mo moblins now, okay? Wait, one of them got to the other side of the gate. Oh, he can come back through, though. It's just me that's locked. Okay. Ooh, that heart. Oh, and more hearts. Oh, wonderful. Bow and air. No. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's just get rid of most of you before we move on, okay? Well, that almost worked. Just keep it moving. I'm glad that the bombs work on them, too. I'm sorry, I'm probably missing a lot of messages right now, but, uh, I'll catch up when I can. No! That's very rude. Wait, what? How is this guy not dead? Hello? Really? How far back were y'all? Where is Horn Guy? Oh god, wait, just move on. Just get to the next gate. They're faster now, though. Yeah, I can see that. I can see how much HP they have. Oh, those are some Stalfos, I see. Um. Okay. Well. Oh, you just have to beat the big ones. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna take a time out. <laughs> this is a great opportunity for me to catch up. Mystic, that sounds like an amazing Halloween costume. Um, Mavkata, you're possibly correct. Uh, Mavkara, I think so. Okay, get out of my way. No one wants... No one wants your sass, okay?
Oh gosh. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to be fighting moblins while there are artillery shooting at me. Okay. Okay. The moblins now. Is that enough? That was not enough to kill it. How is that not enough? Uh, Mihan, no, but I can be if you if you'd like. It's honestly kind of worse that I've broken part of its shield. It hit me as it died. Hello? Oh. Oh, we just go in now. Okay. Well, I'm... Okay. I have most of my life. <sighs> Mavakara, absolutely, he did. Really? Just more? You act as though this is somehow threatening. If, as if I can't just spin attack like four times and deal with this thoroughly. Give me that heart. Want to go into this with full health? Well, close. Uh, at least five, Captain Spark, at least. You're far too quick, boy. Gear him three, okay. I realize a simple child like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this take time and a steady hand. Can't you wait quietly like a good boy, hmm? You petulant brat, you've pushed me too far. I've waited my whole existence for this. This is my moment. You know what, fine. If you're so intent on hurrying to your grave, I'll be happy to show you the way. This time, there will be no heroic escape. I was a fool to toy with you and let you walk away with your life before, but I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> that, I promise. Oh. Well, okay. I'm guessing I have to not fall off this while also dealing with Girahim. Oh! <laughs> if only you'd put... You, if only I'd put you in your place from the very beginning. Show a human a little mercy. The next thing you know, he thinks of himself your equal. Given my station, I had to maintain some semblance of dignity. So I let you run with your life. Twice, even. Such a guilty pleasure. But instead of scurrying away like any creature with a basic instinct to survive, you just kept coming back again and again and again. I've let a mere boy make a fool of me for the last time. You stand before a demon, or should I say a weapon, without mercy. For you, boy, I prepared a most appropriate and humiliating death. I even have a pet name for it. I call it the Endless Plunge. First, I will take my time bludgeoning you, and when I grow bored of it, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. I'll delight in casting your body into this pit and snuffing out the flame of your life. Your broken body will serve as fine sustenance for the Demon King. Okay, so don't fall. Got it. Okay. 
looks like I don't feel like I'm hitting him. Or hurting him, rather. Oh. Okay, so it's just wrestling then. Just get him to the edge. Hello. Oh gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not allowed. Okay, so that, there's like no way to avoid that. What do I, okay, do I just horizontal or? Cause he'll just stand here and let me think. Oh, he stops. Would you quit with? Oh dear. Well, I'm glad it brings me back. Wait, I have arrows. Oh, those don't do anything to him. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Okay. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it! Fiddlesticks. Okay. I get the picture, but it's I'm I'm having trouble with the precision. Okay, so like see Okay, straight up and dead. Link, that was not the slash that I told you to do. Quit it with that. Huh. And... Huh. And... Huh. No! Oh my... This is just gonna be annoying. But at least like all Gary Hing fights, you can kind of take it slowly. No. Alright. No, no, no. None of that. Okay. Just be careful. Well, I, I guess I'm about to find out, Rimage. Unless this is still going. Oh, this is still going. Okay. Uh, that has more range than before. Darn it. Double stab. Okay. I didn't think so. Oh gosh, he has those? Um, 
Um. I'm seriously at a loss. Like, how did that not... Ugh. Mindless Sunflower, hello! And Coffee, welcome back. Rhymes with a what? Okay. Um. Like, the stab doesn't... Rhymes with a P... That... Okay. I don't want to fail it! Oh god. Oh. What do I have? Gus Bellows? That doesn't do anything then. Whip. 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 Maybe my bombs? Can he... Can I bomb? How did that not... How did none of those... The name is five letters long. Five letters. Wait, why did the music become quieter when I took out my bug net? Well, I don't think Claw Shot's the answer, and I doubt Slingshot is. Um... Harp is four letters, Fee is... Here. Fee can tell me things. Hold on! Yeah, 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 I get that. I've got fairies, it's okay. Is really now the time? Girl, help me out! Yeah, clearly. Parry? I've never... Oh gosh, I don't know how to parry. There's a 90% chance in outward appearance compared to the previous encounters with him. I detect a dark aura emanating from his entire body. I can confirm a change in Gearhim's fighting style, likely as a result of the minor damage he has suffered. More info! Not helpful! It's, it's like, it's the shield thing, right? No. Okay, okay. Hello! Okay, so that worked. No! 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 Gotcha! Of course it's the shield, the one thing that I never use. So you gotta be ready. <sighs> okay, now I've got some of these. Uh oh!
darn it. Like one hit per cycle. I get it now, at least. Well, I'm glad I came with fairies. This would have been, like, impossible with any other shield. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> where, why? Where? Did I destroy his sword? Generate hearts would be quite nice. Is that quite enough? How many more do I even have? I've got two. It's something. <sighs> you wretched brat! Oh, really? Just bigger sword? Okay, fine. <sighs> Can I just use my arrows? I have all these arrows. Oh, hello. I, I, I made a crack in that. He healed it, but I made a crack in it. I, I'm not even, like, speaking. Like, I'm so distracted. No. Stop it! Oh, 
I don't care. I know it's not gonna work. I just want him to feel something, feel pain. Oh, you can do this so slowly. I've been trying to do it quickly. <laughs> okay, well. You live and you learn. Thanks. Thanks, friend. Okay. That is not the button I meant to hit. Um... Okay, um, motion controls. Okay, um, here. I'm gonna scoot back a little, okay? Yeah, that would have been nice to know, Kiku. <laughs> Katarina, hello! This, this is preposterous. Driven to my knees by a simple child of a man. Laughable. No matter how many times we clash, I can't prevail. You think I can't defeat you? You think I can't win? Boy, what are you? Oh, he's laughing, not crying. Ah, uh, but never mind that. Victory is still mine to savor. While we fought, the ritual I started continued. At last, it's complete. The Demon King shall devour the soul of the goddess and resurrect in his full glory. I have no hearts. I have no hearts. I have zero hearts. Oh, get out of here! Wait. Don't you see? It's all over. You and your kind have lost. This world and everything in it now belongs to darkness. They belong to my master. Oh. Well, you got a lot smaller. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome back to us, Master.
<laughs> you look better as a dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mindless of I'm so glad you're here. That looks like it hurt a little. Oh look, there's a save point. Am I supposed to use that? <laughs> right now? Yeah, Josh, I gathered that when he turned into a giant sword, but... It's a pretty sweet looking sword. So you are the chosen knight of the goddess. Intriguing. The goddess lowered herself to a mortal existence to keep me imprisoned. How pathetic. This bag of flesh pales in comparison to the magnificence of her previous form. Oh my gosh, it's Groos! <laughs> Don't worry, Link, Groos has got this! Are you sure? Oh, wow! Link, I... I caught her. She's okay. I could really use some Groose right about now. Like, I'm, I'm worn out from that Girahim fight. <laughs> hmm. So you and that other human would stand before obliteration to aid the goddess, would you? Look at his earrings. <laughs> Kiko, that was what I was expecting, too. Um... How curious. The humans I've known were weak things, hardly more than insects shivering under rocks and ready to flee at the mere glimpse of me. When last I walked this world, they did little more than scream and cling to their goddess, mewling and praying, counting on her to protect them. How amusing to think those cowards begot someone like you. You grow more fascinating by the second human. I never imagined I'd meet one of your kind who wished to stand against me in battle. Very well then. I shall prepare a place for us where we will not be bothered by distractions. If you still have the courage to face me, seek me there. I get to take a breath? This guy's like an honorable in combat final villain? Okay. Link, it's all on you. Oh, and listen up. Granny had some info for you. The old girl says it t it'll take time for that grease wad to absorb Zelda's soul completely. If you can take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that thing, you might still have a chance. Is this going to be on a timer? Oh, is the... Am I behind or something? I... I know you can do it. So, yeah. You've got to do this. You're all Zelda's got. You've got to make this happen. Yeah, but not yet. <laughs> That's cool, but like, can I have a breather? If you fear for your life, do not follow me. You can spend what little time your world has left cowering and crying as befits your kind. But if you truly desire to raise your blade against the world I would build, come for me. I've waited eons to return, I can spare a few moments to let you decide. Cool. Get away from that. Link, walk away. It's up to you now, Link.
It'll be a lovely date. Okay, hey, hey. So, here's my question. <laughs> uh, can I leave? <laughs> can I straight up leave? Like, if I save here, can I leave? Please, someone answer me this. Because I would love to go get more fairies. <laughs> I know it's a little, like, pacing-wise anticlimactic, but, like... Can I leave? I'm gonna try to leave. Zelda will be fine. I don't see any timer on screen. We're good. And yeah, she's a little dead, but it's fine. She'll get better. Okay, cool. I'm leaving. <laughs> I think before I fight, you know, the king of all evil... I should probably have a few more fairies on my side. <laughs> we'll be back to him in like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, Hannah. It, this is all in the past. When I come back, everything will be fine. So how y'all doing? <laughs> How's your days going? I hope not too many of you were just screaming at your computers while I was doing that. I was trying my hardest, and it clearly wasn't working. Oh my gosh, Maladus. Man, can I fight Maladus? I know how to fight Maladus. Alright, Steph, thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it very, very much. Oh look, Imp is better. And Groose is no longer- okay. So we can just buy. Hannah, that's wonderful. Okay, there's a chair in here. I need a chair. I'm glad your day's been decent. Sunny, that is wonderful to hear. Oh, look at the tree. It's beautiful. I know, like, one place to get fairies. Is there anywhere else? Like, the place that I'm thinking of is back in the sky, and it's a little bit of a walk. Especially to reset it. Eh, I'll just go there. I know where it is. Well, Kiku, hopefully I can help you unwind some. We're gonna... I I think... I don't know if y'all need it, but I need just a short little... Just a short little breath. Nah, she's fine. It's in the past. When I get back, it'll be like no time has passed at all. We're good. <laughs> I did let Gerahim die. That's true. And for that, I'm sorry. Groose is okay. Honestly, this game has perhaps one of the most interesting cat- like, male casts of characters in any Zelda game. Like, Twilight Princess, you know, has got some wonderful ladies. Midna, Zelda, um, etc. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember most of the character names. Um, wait, this is not where I need it to be. Um, but, you know, in this one we got Girahim and Groose. Whole lot of curios. Paya sounds like a name. Mifa's in Breath of the Wild. Alright, it's this one, right? Yes. That's the island we're going to. Ilya, yes, thank you, Kiku. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, I think... I think the Wii Zeldas are... You know, pretty well-rounded put together. Um... Oh. Man, can I just say, I am so glad that I went and got that shield. <laughs> can you imagine if I had tried to do that fight with any of the other shields? Oh, you played it on the GameCube. I played it for the first time on the Wii, and I've never touched the GameCube version, but I mean, it feels like at some point, like, maybe like, give me like two or three more years for me to forget more of Twilight Princess. If I went back and played it on the GameCube, it would be a total trip. Well, mirroring and of course how, like, no motion controls. Alright. Well, time to scoop! Okay, wonderful. So we just need to do that two more times and then we'll be good to go. Wait. I didn't dash. Okay, so I think Pumpkin... Or excuse me, Bamboo Island is the closest one with a door that I can go into trigger a loading zone to respawn the ferry. So we're just gonna head there. Scoop. Swoop. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's A44. This is gonna be a long one. I'm glad I did part of the boss rush early. <laughs> I will hopefully be able to finish by 10. <laughs> yeah. Nick, that sounds amazing. I could go for some pretzels right now. Am I dropping frames? I don't see any frames dropping. Oh, let me check. Hmm. Maybe just a little. Oh good, I for a second there I thought it was not going to respawn and I was going to be so mad because that would have meant I would have had to go all the way back to Skyloft. Oh yeah, Kiku, of course, with the surface tension. Would have been deadly. Alright. One more. And we'll be all set to go. You know, I don't think I would have ever described water as plush. Wait. Exactly, Kiku, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I think I didn't waste too many of my bombs, uh, nor arrows. I, I used some when I was flailing wildly trying to figure out some way to damage Girahim outside of the way that the game wanted me to. Please tell me I get to use my arrows. I have all these items, I'd like to use some of them. 
I don't want the final boss to be just a, a big evil sword fight. Because I do not have reaction... <laughs> oh no. Well... I'll take it slower this time. <laughs> I'll admit, I got a little flustered. Or really, I just- I thought you had to do things so much faster than you actually did. Uh, which was largely my undoing. Okay. Well, now we're back to being stalked out. So here's what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna very quickly... I don't have any more of the hard things, otherwise I would. You know what, if I if I go down two fairies, tell me what I can do to cheese it, because that I will <laughs> I think I'll take that over uh dying and having to restart because this is we're we're running late. Um And I'm I'm okay with a little cheese. Makes for a better sandwich. Okay, deep breaths. In and out. Does it have anything to do with the bug net? Do we get to play tennis? How much of a Zelda final boss is this? <sighs> and yeah, I miss using the Beetle 2 coffee. Like, there's so many fun items in this game. It's kind of a shame that it seems that the last couple of fights are just... Use your sword, sometimes your shield... <laughs> Okay. I had a feeling. I might... Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Sounds good. Solid, solid. Uh, yeah, but who wants to put science on this beautiful watercolor world? Okay, now this, that was the last time we're going to the sky. Yeah, I had a feeling. I, I wouldn't count that as a spoiler because I had a feeling. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is lovely. You know, it's nice that, you know, we still get some ambient, you know, bird and bug sounds when, you know, the ultimate evil is about to probably kill me once or twice. Okay. So I can save at that save point that's really close to him and it won't matter. Because the point of no return is the purple portal. Man, I could use some belief. Alright, I could talk to Groose and Impa, but... we I know what they're gonna say. Groose is gonna say something melodramatic, and Impa's gonna say something stone-faced. Just take it slow, just take it slow. Well, Mystic, I'm glad you got friends that'll do that for you. Okay. Let's not take any hearts of damage on the way down, shall we? That would just be silly. Josh, I fully expect that uh, a game of that title 
to come out from Nintendo in like 2028 on the on the Switch 2 because every other generation Nintendo is really bad at coming up with names. Got all my junk. 16 hearts. Purple portal time. Master Link, I have important information for you. Once you enter this portal, my analysis indicates a 0% chance that you will be able to return unless you are able to vanquish your foe. Are you ready to proceed? This is like the first time that Fee has ever given us anything with any certainty. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, I'm ready. You'll think I will kill him eventually. Hopefully. Well, Josh, I hope you prove them wrong. Understood, Master Link. Know that even in the place that lies beyond this portal, I will be with you. And Master, good luck. I mean, hey... Playing games while listening to or watching streams, I think, is fantastic. Oh. Oh, wow. Ah, so you've decided to meet your end in battle after all. It pleases me greatly to see such misplaced valor, human. Really, Kiko? Totally. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings, for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. I mean, this is a pretty fancy tomb. I appreciate that. This is beautiful. The hate for the gods that is boiled in my veins. You will taste all of it in the bite of my blade. The only question left is how long you will manage to remain standing before I take your life. Try to keep it interesting for me, would you? And when you do fall, know that your world and everything in it is mine to dominate, mine to subjugate, mine to rule. When I finish with you, you can take solace in knowing your friends and kin will soon follow, as I wipe all who would oppose me from the face of this world. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little. It won't be long now. At last, the almighty power I've sought for millennia. I will take the Triforce for my own. Why are we not using the Triforce more? Sorry, I know it's like, it's an important moment. And the world shall be under my foot for eternity. Okay! Yeah, okay. Um... Hi! You know, I'll, I'll try- I'll try and play it straight. Okay. So he, like, mirrors my sword motions when we're close. Did I get a hit, or was that just nothing? I wanna, I wanna parry one of his blows. Did he just punch me? Oh, I did get a hit. <laughs> Coffee, what on earth was that? Chill back up, please. Okay, 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 okay. Nope! Nice try! Okay. 
No, no. Ooh. Well, I got an extra hit. I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot, though. Oh! That was easy. Shield back out, if you would. Just always have your shield drawn, obviously. I mean, I guess that's true. Nope, nope, nope. Just don't get greedy. That's the message for all of y'all. If you refrain from having avarice, you're good. Just always give yourself to bring your shield back out. Just get one hit. Land one hit and you're good. I think that was a hit. Mm -mm. Got me on that one. I mean, got my shield, really, but... Ooh, that was a free one. Ooh. Ooh, nice! Okay, Electro Sword. That's that's happening. That doesn't look fun. Uh oh. Oh wow. Okay. Oh oh oh. <laughs> okay. This is where we're at now. I see. Uh, so my strategy from before is not gonna work as nicely. You have to really be on it with the parries. Okay. I think I got a hit there. Okay. I got some hits. Well, this is a this is a good of a place as any to die. Okay. I don't know if I hit him there. Darn it! Ooh. I mean, I had to take the opportunity. Darn it! So much nunchuck! <clears throat> Mr. Jazzo! Hello! Um... I'm doing okay. It seems to me... Just keep parrying until you, you break the electricity off his sword.
Is that it? Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your kind, human. You fight like no man or demon I have ever known, though this is not the end. My hate never perishes. It is born anew in a cycle with no end. I will rise again. Those like you, those who share the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero, they are eternally bound to this curse. An incarnation of my hatred shall ever follow your kind, dooming them to wander a blood-soaked sea of darkness for all time. Sounds good. Thanks. Wait, was I supposed to use a Skyward Strike? <laughs> I didn't realize. I have confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword. And is now sealed away. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that, that sounds like it would have been cool. <laughs> You have done well, Link. Link. Thank you. I think it's over. Finally. It's all over. <laughs> Not pro yet, it's all over. Oh my gosh. This music is beautiful. <laughs> nice going, you two. You guys were totally amazing in this little adventure I like to call The Legend of Groose. That's the side series that I want. Kiku, thank you so much. That's a little joke. Monks, welcome back. He's just making jokes while Zelda's over here crying. Joke or not, your contributions to our efforts were heroic. You have my thanks. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Just glad I could make myself useful. I'm happy things turned out okay. Oi. Hey, so things look pretty sewn up here. What do you say, guys? Ready to head back to our own time? Monks, thank you so much. Granny was really worried about you two. We don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. Oh. Hylia, your grace. Or perhaps you prefer Zelda. It pleases me to know that you are safe. Master, I must speak with you. You have the floor. Master Link, you have successfully protected the Goddess Reborn and defeated Demise, fulfilling your role as the hero of legend. Not pro yet, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. My purpose here is complete. Therefore, I ask you to dissolve our arrangement as master and servant. Drive the sword into the pedestal before you, and I will return to the sword and enter it asleep without end. 
Master, you have achieved the purpose you were chosen to fulfill. Please, set the sword in the pedestal and bring the goddess's mission to an end. Now, Master, it is time to conclude our necessary companionship. Necessary companionship? That's what we're calling it now? Man, I see. I see how it is. Can never win the robot's heart. I mean, Kiku, that's what I'm saying. We ain't done. Link. Link, hear me. My purpose was to obey the command of the goddess and lead you, the chosen hero of, of this land, on your quest. When I first awoke and began this task, I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. However, I have come to consider information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. I do not have the capability to fully understand the human spirit, Link. But now at the end of my journey with you, as I prepare to sleep within the Master Sword forever, I experience a feeling I am, un I am unable to identify. I lack sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion, but I believe this feeling correlates closest to what your people call happiness. Our partnership is at an end. Even as we speak, I feel my consciousness fading away. Before I enter the sleep that calls me to the sword, I wish to relay to you words that I recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said to you thus far, but I now wish to say them for myself. Thank you, Master Link. May we meet again in another life. What? Impa, why? Come with us! It would be nice to see Fee again. I knew someone was gonna stay in the past. I knew it. I knew it. Zelda, your grace. You possess the memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I am a being of this age. My place is here. Oh, she was from the past this whole time? No one told me. Not for yet. Happy early birthday. Alright, but back to the sadness. Bye, Impa. We gave you a lot of sass, but we love you. I... I know that, but... You must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. I can't do that. You and I have been through so much together. I don't want to leave you alone. Please, Impa, come back with us. Zelda, at the command of the goddess, I pass through the gate of time. 
I did so to protect you and aid the fight to prevent the world's destruction. The last remnants of Demise are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. The spirit... ...must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. Um, I know this is not in keeping with, like, the, the feeling of the moment, uh, but I'd just like to say, uh, on behalf of all of us Zelda fans, uh, good job, Impa, you did great. But also, thank you for not doing that actually that good of a job, because that means we would have gotten way less games, so. He's just his own thing, Josh. And not Peria, that sounds like a wonderful gift. This is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess's chosen guardians, I gladly welcome this duty. Zelda, I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grasp of man. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. <clears throat> Low roll. <clears throat> when it has served its purpose, it must be secreted away to lie dormant once again. The knowledge of its existence hidden from mortal history. These are the words the goddess spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. What's that? Oh, it's one of her bracelets. Those are nice. Do not despair, Zelda. You and I will surely meet again someday. I'll talk about that in a sec, Kiku. I see. That tracks. <laughs> so dang, she looks great for a thousand. I told you we'd meet again. <laughs> okay, but I better get a spirit orb. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Seriously, Kiku. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two Avengers references. Well placed. 
Huh. Wow, okay. <laughs> Dang. Huh. Okay, is this just credits now? We got a nice musical cue. Okay. It, it's just staying on this. Can I just... I guess I can just talk. Okay. Um... That's true, it did, Josh. Okay, okay. <sighs> Y'all, thank you so much for the, the congratulations and for the believing in me. Uh, those fights were not easy. Okay. But so, thoughts on the series as a whole. I am so glad I chose to... Uh, to you know, give this game another shot and play it this way with all of y'all, you know, able to help me along the way. Um, I, I don't know that I hardly believe it. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was doing it on hard mode, but okay. Um, so thoughts about the game as a whole. Um, you know, I played years and years ago the introduction up to getting into Farron Woods. Um, and so that was the only part that I had been exposed to. But after that, getting to, you know, really explore the areas and getting to actually play some of the dungeon, well, all of the dungeons, um, I really, really enjoyed getting that exposure to what the game was fully about and how it paces itself. Um, I... I ended up liking a lot of things much more than I thought I would at first. Like the desert area, um, some of the times revisiting, uh, you know, the, the different parts of the game, especially the Silent Realms. I loved the Silent Realms. And I actually did, once we got into it, really like the, the stealth portion in Elden um, during like the third quarter of the game. All of those things sort of surprised me in that I actually really enjoy them. And I liked that this game felt like, you know, even the overworlds had puzzle and exploration to them. It just, it wasn't just, you know, cross this field to get to this place. You had to be thinking the whole time, which was wonderful. Um, now, obviously I had a, f I have a few complaints, <laughs> but only a few. Um, this game did do a couple times a thing that I don't care for as much, which is it made you do things that don't actually advance the plot. Um, the most notable example that I can think of is the roller coaster segment the first time you're in the sand sea. You go around that whole thing, do this, you know, do all these puzzles to get to a place that you're told will give you some clue as to where you're going next, and then it's just nothing. <laughs> um, and there were a couple times where it was like, okay, you're making me go back to the same area like four times. I'm sorry that you're... I, I don't like how much it's reusing, but a lot of the times I found in practice, each of them was different enough and had a different feel to it that I ended up enjoying it way more than I thought. And Dende, hello. Um, thank you so much for popping in. Um, and so... I would say, overall, I had way more fun with this than I ever thought I would, and I I think it will, like, stand out in my memory as one of the Zelda games that I've enjoyed more. Oh, the other thing I didn't like, I'm sorry, I skipped this. The other thing I despised was the imprisoned fights. Just no thank you to all of that, but y'all know why. Um, as far as, like, all the other bosses are concerned and all the dungeons, I thought the dungeons in this game's uh, specifically were all quite creative they all felt different and you know we had two water-esque dungeons not a problem coffee um and neither of them felt bad like the dungeons were all good 
Except for maybe the second one. The second one was I. But all the rest were like fun and different and enjoyable. Um, and the music, oh my gosh, the music. This, I would so much prefer a score like this rather than the sort of minimalist element that Breath of the Wild had. I get it works for Breath of the Wild, don't get me wrong. But I love a soundtrack where you've just got so much beautiful music to dig into. And for a game on the Wii, they did so much to make this game really pretty and really stand out. Now, it wouldn't be, you know, worth a review of Skyward Sword without talking about the motion controls. And I will say, nine times out of ten, they worked perfectly. It's the other, you know, 10% that, you know, things got a little hairy. But I think, to some extent, that, you know, it makes it not re more realistic, but it's like, you're not always going to be able to fight perfectly. And even by the end, I had sort of learned how to negotiate within that space, and, you know, I knew what I needed to do to make it read me, you know, more, more better. Um, and granted, I think at least 5-7% to 7 of the, the issues that I had might have just been because of how close I have to sit to the vision bar to get this to work. Um, but that, like, all of that being said, I really do think, um, after, you know, having played it now, I think this game gets an unfair rap. I can understand why some folks might not like it, but heck, I really enjoyed it. And if they ever did re-release it, motion controls or no, I'd be super interested to see how they do it. Because you best believe it would be gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you, thank you all so much for voting for this. You know, when I initially put it on the poll, I was... I was truly unsure about... Because it was like a last-minute edition. But it's been... It's been wonderful. And Monks, you absolutely should. <sighs> okay. Uh, Hannah, would you mind doing that? Monks has been around for a while, so. Nick, seriously, thank you so much. Aw, Gruce has his friends back. Bruce's character arc is also a really solid part of this game. <laughs> Look around us. As a child, I always dreamed of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. Oh, I need to get my controller back? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I... I think I want to live here. I always want to feel solid ground beneath my feet. See the clouds above my head, and watch over the Triforce. What about you, Link? What will you do now? Uh, I'm thinking about going back and living in the sky. Could get a pretty sweet house up there. Yeah. Coffee, thank you so much. And I'm glad... I'm glad that this was helpful. <laughs> Wait. 
I just thought about something. Oh. But I just realized, straight up all the work that I did at upgrading all my stuff, <laughs> it did not factor in at all! <laughs> It's like, I upgraded my shield, all my items, and what did we not use? <laughs> the shield that I came in with, and all my items. <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh. No, I sure don't. I really don't want to do hero mode, thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, no, I want to save. I got a uh, fine. No, I don't know. No. Fine. Sure. I'll just... No. No, I want to have a save file that's at the very end. If I ever want to, I'll, like, I'll... Whatever. Yes. Don't save. No, that's not happening. <laughs> Look, we good. We good. Ah. <sighs> Well, thank you all so much for joining me on this. I, I do know what it is. Oh, you were at answering Kiku. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Th this, that would be like a 36 hour stream. Skyward Sword's not short. Um, but yeah, so... Obviously, we've now finished the game that's been in the B slot for a long time. Um, so, pretty soon we're going to move on to, you know, a new major series, but... I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. I'm not sure what I even want the options to be yet. Um, but, in the meantime, I do have some fun one-offs planned, so... I hope you'll still come around on Tuesdays and Thursdays to see what I get into. Um... I, I seriously, I do have some fun stuff planned. Um, did I say Tuesdays and Thursdays? Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, <laughs> I have Link's crossbow training. We could do that for one of them. I could try it out. Um, but that all being said, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so very much for joining me. And copy, that is understandable. This... This has been a gut-wrencher of a series, honestly. Oh. I'm still- I'm still- <laughs> I'm still laughing a little at all the work that I did today. All the stuff that I did to prepare for today's stream, completely pointless. And Nick, thank you so much. Okay. And thank you so much to everyone else who was able to, to help us along the way. It seriously means so, so very much that, you know, as many of you were so engaged with the stream and, you know, have enjoyed watching me play through something that I am very unqualified to play. Um, and so that's honestly one of the, the most fabulous parts of this whole thing is... You know, I've been able to... I've, you know, I've shed off my being experienced with the game or having read a bunch of stuff beforehand. I just... I just played a game. That I did not know where it was gonna go. And I did not know how I... how good I was gonna be at it. And y'all stuck with me for it, which is incredible. Um... Alright. Good night to everyone who's gonna say good night. Um... Oh, I don't think I did say aw to that, but... Whatever, at this point. I'm not sure what I reacted to and what I didn't. Um, but yeah. This will be where I bid you adieu. And we'll be back tomorrow with, uh, with Animal Crossing. Because it'll be Saturday. And it'll it's December, so there's new stuff. 
Um, I'm going to set y'all on a raid, because that's what we do. Um, and I think I know just the person. I hope you're ready for more Zelda, because our good friend Keshi is playing Majora's Mask. And doing a race. Um... <laughs> I'm high. Um, yeah, if, you, if you're not following, use that one. Mihan will post the other one. Otherwise, y'all, have a beautiful night. I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you will be too. This has been fantastic. Alright. Good night, everyone. <laughs>